CataractCoach.com, Brunescent Cataract Faco, while delivering a clear cornea the next day. This is pretty impressive. Look how dense this nucleus is. A lot of density there, right? Look at the slit lamp view. Wow, Brunescent, brown, root beer colored, Coca-Cola colored. Now here we go, making that incision there. Tripan blue dye going inside the eye. Here's some viscoelastic, good. Let's see what we got here, get a good rexus done. Poking in with the forceps, good, good, good. Rotate that around, get a, a generous rexus. Do not make a baby rexus with a brunescent cataract. This surgeon is doing a beautiful job. Nice, big, generous rexus. Five and a half is my goal. Listen, even if you make it bigger than that, I'm okay. You can do a six and a half millimeter rexus, I'm good with it. But don't make a baby rexus. You're saying, what if it doesn't overlap the optic? And it's okay. Let's get this cataract out of the eye. This patient has like hand motion vision and definitely needs to become pseudophagic. So, here we go. Oh, a little pair of knees is going in. Okay, we'll take that. And now, rotating that nucleus, it is definitely dense. Definitely more viscoelastic. Here comes the chopper. Here's the phaco probe. Let's watch the technique here. So, going in, making a little pit maybe. Maybe a pit technique here. A little bit, a bit of a groove there, and then getting nice and deep, and then perhaps going to bury the probe there in that pit, like the submarine shop, like Mohanta showed us. No, maybe not. Let's go back to this video here. Now more viscoelastic. Hey, viscoelastic's great. We like that, right? Cheaper than vitreous, plus cheaper than endothelial cells. Now, bigger probe going in. Oh, yeah, deep chop there. Chopper going in. Notice how the two halves don't want to separate. That's typical. These brunescent cataracts have that like fibrous posterior plate and they become very difficult to separate. And so you really got to put your effort in to get those pieces separated. Do chop, chop, and more chop, and more viscoelastic. Now, I think this surgeon is using HPMC, hydroxypropyl methacyclose. In the USA, that's sold as Occucote most commonly uh, from BNL. That's a viscoelastic that gets washed out of the eye pretty easily. So here, I'd rather use a different viscoelastic in the U.S., but if that's what you're using, I understand why you're recoding, and I commend you for doing a beautiful job here. So now chop, chop, and more chop. Yes, of course, we sped the video up. No, the surgeon didn't have 16 cups of, uh, of espresso this morning. Now, taking these pieces out, look how the pupils come down a little bit. Now, that makes it a bit of a challenge here. Pupils come down a little bit, and surgeon's doing a great job of staying there centrally and getting all these pieces out. And the challenge here, too, again, is these little fibrous pieces stuck together there. And so it's very hard to fully separate them. And so, again, my technique is chop, chop, and more chop. Again, more viscoelastic. That's a great idea. Recoding that endothelium. And now, chopper going around to rotate the piece. So about half the nucleus has been removed, which is great. Another chop going in, taking your time here. And really, Serge is doing a fantastic job of really staying in the center of that smaller pupil and getting all these thick pieces of cataract aspirated. Now also be careful of a phaco wound burn. When you're putting this much phaco energy in the eye, certain here is doing a great job of floating within the incision, and that is beautiful to avoid having a phaco wound burn. Wow, beautiful job taking out the nucleus. Hey, let me remind you of cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material there. Please do not email me asking me for a video when it's already posted there. And I know you can't find it as easily on YouTube because... The search engine is not as good. But if you go to cataractcoach.com, use that search engine, I promise you'll find any video you want. Thank you for your understanding. Now, back to the case here. Cortex removal is pretty easy in these dense cases. Here looks like a hydro infusion, infusion can going in the left, and then the right hand injecting the IOL. Get that IOL in the bag. Now, make sure with a smaller pupil, make sure you're getting that IOL totally in the bag. Make sure you're not leaving a haptic in the sulcus or something. Make, oh, Irish prolap, push that baby in, right? No. Fix the pressure gradient. Where's the pressure gradient? There you go. If you fix the pressure gradient, you'll be fine. Oh, more viscoelastic. Uh, that's okay to see what's going on. There you got the kissing haptics there to get those separated. And again, I would spend some time and look and make sure that all the lens, both haptics and the optic, are completely in the capsule bag. That is a critically important step here. Good job. Take out the viscoelastic. Call this a day. You can definitely do these brunescent cataracts and still have a beautiful outcome. But again, it's a lot more challenge. It's a lot tougher. If you're a new surgeon, beginning surgeon, this is a tough case. It's not an easy case here. So what is that? What is, what is, what's going on here? Was that some iris tissue? Or is it, oh, that's a nuclear chunk that was left over? Wowza! Faco probe going back in there to get that last nuclear chunk out. That may have been hitting, hidden underneath the subincisional iris, and maybe that's why that contributed to the iris prolapse there. Now, cleaning this up here, Ooh, you don't want to leave a big chunk like that in there. That's never going to dissolve. That thing's a rock. 
So glad you went back to the FACO probe. These are tough cases. Remember, when you do this surgery, you got to tell the patient, this surgery is going to take a week off my life. I really hope you appreciate it and you're sincerely appreciative. And remember, the post-op period, nothing but praise and no complaints because we need to be careful of the surgeon's ego. Now, post-op day one, wow, look at that. Beautiful outcome. Patient must be so incredibly happy. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, check out our weekly podcast every week, a brand new podcast. So much great material. You'll learn so much. You'll become a better surgeon, I promise.